Judge Judy, who doesn't know who she is? Nobody. That's what we thought. Judy Scheinlin has been around for quite some time, and everybody knows this awesome and semi-scary face. Who doesn't remember Judge Judy being on their TV when they were younger and just getting sucked right in because of the show's fiery little star? If you're a fan of America's Favorite Judge, you'll enjoy things you didn't know about Judge Judy. Number 23, Real Judge. This may or may not be obvious, but did you know that Judy Scheindlin is a former family court judge? She really did what she does on TV, not just for show or anything, but in real life. She's also more than that, like a prosecution lawyer, an author and TV personality and producer, but trust us, there are many who didn't know that good old Judge Judy was the real deal. So now you know, Judy is one bad lady. Number 22, School. Well, she was a youngin' and so ambitious. Judy Scheinlin got her Juris Doctor degree in 1965 from New York Law School. And before that, she'd already had to graduate from American University with a Bachelor of Arts. She was one driven young woman and didn't waste any time pushing herself toward the top. Number 21, Early Work. Miss Judy began her career in the courts way, way back in 1965 when she got a job basically right away after passing her bar exam. She started out as an attorney in family courts and often prosecuted and showed no mercy on perpetrators of child abuse and domestic violence, and she even dealt with some juvenile crime. We think we'd probably be tired of all the uh, male cow feces that people tried to feed you in family court all the time, so we don't blame Judy for her abrasiveness. Number 20, moving up. In 1982, Ed Koch, New York City mayor at the time, appointed Judy as a judge due to her no-nonsense attitude in the courtroom, and she worked in criminal court until 1986. That year, she was given a promotion and moved on to ruling in family court, and it is there that she really began to make a name for herself. Number 19, Beloved Judy. Back in 1993, Judy was featured first in an article by the Los Angeles Times, then on 60 Minutes, and they documented her career in family courts, which was really the beginning of everything for her. She later penned her first book not long after the interview titled Don't Pee on My Leg and Tell Me It's Raining, which in time led to more for the young judge. It's crazy to think that she was doing these things before her show, like she hasn't been on TV forever? Number 18, Retirement. Isn't it crazy to think that she retired from her profession before most of us even ever heard her name? Well, it's true. Judge Judy retired from being a family court judge in 1996 after hearing over 20,000 different cases. She had to be exhausted. Little did she know at the time, but that was just the beginning of her real career, the one that would make her rich and famous beyond her wildest dreams. Number 17, 1996, was the year, the magic year, the year to change Judy Scheinland's life forever. She was approached that year about possibly starring in a reality court television show that dealt with real cases and real rulings. What did she do? She accepted the offer, of course. Judge Judy, yes, the show we all know and remember from years and years ago, aired on September 16th, 1996, and the rest is history. Number 16, books, books, books. She had her first book, which we mentioned earlier, but did you know that the judge herself has released two more books as well? Her second book, Beauty Fades, Dumb is Forever, was published in 1999, and her third, Keep It Simple, Stupid, You're Smarter Than You Look, was published in 2000. Both books hit the New York Times bestseller list pretty much right as they were released. And all we've got to say is, duh, it's Judge Judy. Number 15, Excellent Ratings. Ever since it debuted on TV all those years ago in 1996, Judge Judy's show has been ranked the number one court show of all the court shows, which have come since that fateful day in September 1996. Every day, anywhere between 9 and 10 million people tune in to watch America's favorite judge do what she does best, tear people up. Number 14, Parodies. It's no secret that Judge Judy is really well known and that those that are well known sometimes have others do parodies, imitations, or worse, of them. Well, the good judge is no exception to that as she's been parodied on shows like Saturday Night Live and The Amanda Show, and she was even parodied on The Simpsons as Judge Constance Harm. Number 13, Long Lasting. So we now know that Judge Judy has been on since 1996, which is a long time ago, but what does that mean for Judy? Well, it means that she's famous and popular and upon a pedestal and that her show has stood the test of time. The show is actually the longest running individual production of any court show ever. That's as of 2017 and now it's 2018, so she's really rocking it. Number 12, Documentary. Judge Judy, Sitting in Judgment, aired on Biography on February 21st, 2000, and it was a documentary that dove deep into Judy Scheindlin's whole life and presented her entire story. It showed us her childhood, her adolescence, and onward, and offered us a look into her days as first an attorney, then a judge and author, and finally, the TV star Judy we all know today. 
Number 11, of course she is. Did any of you know that back in 2003, VH1 featured Judy Scheindlin on their list of 200 greatest pop culture icons? We're actually surprised it took so long. Judy had been on the air since, you guessed it, 1996, and had been pretty well known for some time following the Los Angeles Times article and the 60 Minutes interview. Congrats, Judy. Sorry we're only 15 years late. Number 10, her honor mentoring program. So Judy's daughter, Nicole, began a really cool thing back in 2006, a thing that would change many young women's lives. The Her Honor Mentoring Program was established to connect young girls in different career fields from five different high schools in the Westchester, New York area, with women already working in the girls' chosen field of work. They then get internships with their elder, more experienced matches, and spend around four hours a week working and getting some excellent on-the-job training, and it's made a huge difference and impact on many young women in Westchester. Number 9. Finally, a win. It only took Judge Judy being nominated for 15 Emmys before the show actually won. And that's the truth. It was nominated from 1996 onward until Judy's Pride and Joy finally took home the prize for Daytime Emmy for Outstanding Legal Courtroom Program in 2011. How could it take her show that long to win in that specific a category? Number 8. A Major Award No, Judge Judy didn't win a bowling alley, although she might have one of her own. Or four. Who knows? No, back in October of 2012, she was inducted into Broadcasting and Cable's Hall of Fame because of her role on the show. It's crazy that a judge can be inducted into a Hall of Fame, become a celebrity, and make millions for doing what she does. Our world is a crazy place. And the story of Judy Scheinland gives us hope and reminds us that, yeah, anything is possible. Number seven. Woohoo! This reality courtroom TV show, Judge Judy, became the highest rated television show in all of daytime television. That means the good judge beat out even the great Oprah, which is extremely impressive. Speaking of Oprah, Judge Judy was the first TV series to pull more attention and viewers than the Oprah Winfrey show in almost a decade. That's unbelievable. Number six, bummer. Well, this is a bummer for the Supreme Court, but not at all for Judge Judy. In fact, for her, it's quite the opposite. In 2013, a poll was conducted by Reader's Digest that came back with some pretty surprising results. According to the survey, more Americans trusted Judge Judy than they did all of the nine Supreme Court justices. Ouch. Number five, hot bench. Judy and her husband were vacationing, just hanging out in Ireland, when she got the opportunity to see a three-judge bench proceeding, which blew her away and gave her a great idea. When she returned to the US, she brought her idea in and things were set in motion. Hot Bench was born from Judy's little thought, and the first show aired on September 15th, 2014, and it is still running today. As of April 2018, Hot Bench had produced 802 episodes and they are still going. Number four, another major award. No, Judy Scheinland did not win a bowling alley this time either, okay? This time, it was when she was at the 2014 Heroes of Hollywood that the Hollywood Chamber Community Foundation honored her with the awarding to her of the Mary Pickford Award, which is an award given for a lifetime of achievement and for outstanding artistic contribution to the entertainment industry. This is quite an honor, let us tell you, as others who have been awarded throughout the years include such names as Jodie Foster, Francis Ford Coppola, Susan and Sarandon, Kathy Bates, and well, you get the point. Number three, money. With Judge Judy being on the air for so many years, we think that we all probably understand that Judy Scheinlin has, and is worth, a lot of money. How much, you may ask? Well, she's worth somewhere between 290 and 350 million dollars, and she earns 47 million dollars every year. She has to work only 52 days a year, so all of this breaks down to a little over 900 thousand dollars every workday. Did anyone else just have to pick their jaw up from the floor? Number two, what would Judy say? Yeah, that's a website that Judge Judy owns and runs, and she began it so that we could all have even deeper peaks into her life and see her more than just every afternoon. One can find her detailed biography, some links to her newest book, What Would Judy Say? Be the Hero of Your Own Story, and a page with all sorts of videos where Judy advises on all kinds of topics. She actually has some pretty exciting things to say, and it's sad that it seems as though the site has been left untouched for some time. Number one, long, long, long. Now we told you that her show has been on for a long time. We also told you that the show is the longest running courtroom program ever, which makes Judy Scheindlin the longest serving judge on a courtroom television show. She actually holds the Guinness World Record for longest career as a TV judge. Now that may seem like a weird title to hold, but hey, more power to her. Her career as a judge on TV is paying for her entire lifestyle and probably the lifestyle of her family for generations to come. 
Wow, that is a long list. Judge Judy sure has done a lot and has been around for, well, you know, what feels like forever, but we can't imagine a world without Judge Judy on the TV. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up, please. Also, you can leave a comment, subscribe, or share our stuff, and we'll put out new great videos soon. Oh, <laughs>